Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have another of these absolutely unbelievable deep time fossils replicas, and this time, in my opinion, I saved the best for last because we have the Majungasaurus skull. Now, if you are a viewer of my channel, you'll know that I love Carnotaurus. That's my favorite dinosaur, but right behind Carnotaurus, I would say probably you'd find Majungasaurus. It is absolutely one of my favorite species of all time. It's one of the most unique looking dinosaur species, one of the most interesting dinosaur species. Now, I don't have any Majungasaurus skulls in my collection, and if you were to ask me what species I would have way up at the top of my list of dinosaurs I would love to own some fossil replicas from, or even at the very least, again, a skull replica, uh, definitely Majungasaurus would be one very, very high up on that list. Probably actually right there with Carnotaurus. And again, you can see that just like with the others, it is unbelievable. It looks so legitimate. It looks so real, like a straight up, not even a replica, like a straight up skull that you would find in a museum. It is so unbelievably beautiful like words don't do this justice or in general don't do the deep time fossils replicas justice and just like with the others i've got myself some stickers but this time we actually have two stickers you can see one of which is the skull that we are looking at here in sticker form with some little you know pink around it kind of leaking down and then a white kind of border around that but then we also have another one that is almost the same image but with the pink we also have majunga up here at the top and then love down here at the bottom that is awesome and these stickers would go so good with this as far as a display goes and you bet your bottom dollar that i love majungasaurus so the stickers are really cool of course the skull is out of this world so let's go ahead and jump straight to a closer look at it and we'll check it out from there so actually getting this skull replica up close and personal, you can really see how nice and impressive it is. You know, once you get close and you can really see how good the detail is, how good the detail has transferred over, of course, through the scan process from the original skull, man, this thing is seriously unbelievable when it comes to skull replicas i could not possibly give anybody a higher recommendation than i am for deep time fossils these things are seriously crazy crazy high quality but you can see again if we get nice and close and move through the course of the skull you can see every ounce of detail looks so crisp and so unbelievably real of course considering it is a straight up uh, cast, of course, of an original Majungasaurus skull. It's going to look as real as it gets, but just it's amazing to me how much detail it still retains through the scanning process and then through the actual casting process. Like you can see, everything is beautiful on this. You can also see, of course, actually, right there is that trademark bump on the top of the head of the Majungasaurus. But you can see that they've yet again painted this out so nicely. And I love how different the paint is for each and every one of these different replicas. Like when you look back at the Stegosaurus replica, it had a very cool mixture of browns and tans and stuff. And then you look at the Mosasaurus replica, and that was very different when it comes to the coloration compared to this Majungasaurus, which has such a light tone of color to it. And they've added a lot of really nice variation of color, just like with the other one, even washes and stuff. You can really see the washes up here on the top, right behind that bump on the top of the head. But you can see that they've also dry brushed out a large amount of the detail. And it just helps for all of the fine detail to pop so nicely on this, even moving down here into the lower jaw again it looks incredible as you move through and just like with the others again just like with the mosasaurus like any area of like a chip or any sort of form of damage that may have occurred to the skull will show up in this model because it is an exact replica of the original majungasaurus skull you can see the teeth as well look great and i love the way they painted these you can even see that they've actually darkened the tips 
of some of the teeth as you move through. And just like with the Mosasaurus skull, again, some areas you can actually, wow, that's so cool. So some areas you can see where teeth may have been like, you know, plucked out or knocked out during certain points in this dinosaur's life, right? Like right here, you can see a tooth that is broken, still within the gum line, but broken off. Here's a tooth that has been completely dislodged from the skull. But up here you can see smaller teeth that, if my camera would focus on it, that appear to be kind of growing back in, which is so unreasonably cool. Like I didn't even notice that before. And then again, if you move here to the front, wow, that is an intimidating visual right there. Quite the set of teeth coming our way when you look at the front of the Majungasaurus. But again, as you move along the jawline, you continue to see how good the actual uh, detailing looks. Here's another tooth right here where just the top has kind of been chipped off as the dinosaur was maybe biting, maybe battling, taking down some sort of prey. Who knows exactly why that occurred, but again, another tooth. Look at that. There's another tooth that's kind of popping out of the gum line there. As you move back, you can see a few teeth that are missing. Another tooth that's kind of popping out of the gum line. That's so unbelievably cool. Like, it doesn't get more real than it does with this type of a skull. And again, when you look at it from this side, as you move through, everything just looks so perfect on this, so high quality. This one, I actually shoved the uh, peg up here to the point where I can't get it to move, and uh, I tried to pull it out, and it seems like I've embedded it in there pretty good. doesn't want to come back out, so I just kept the peg on it. But even looking here at the inside of the skull, again, there is no laziness when it comes to the Deep Time Fossils products. You can see they've even painted the inside of this out very nicely, applied dry brushing techniques and everything here to the inside of the skull as well. Again, washes and all of that fun stuff also. And then you look at it here from the back. This thing is honestly like out of this world. That thing is just awesome. And then the base is pretty much the same as we had seen for the Mosasaurus. Again, we've got the really nice wood finish for the base here. It's very high quality. We also have the nameplate here, which uh, Looks like maybe we've got a little something on it that I didn't clean off, but you can see again the Majungasaurus. You can also see we also have the uh, small circles on the underside to make sure that it stays nice and stable on your table, doesn't damage your table. And then of course on the back tribold, Paleontology Incorporated right there. So very nice base to go with one of the single most amazing skull replicas I've ever seen. As far as a size goes for our Majungasaurus skull, Lengthwise from, we'll go from the upper jaw here to the back of the skull. You're looking at about seven and a quarter inches or around the 18 and a half centimeter mark. And then for a height to the top of the bump there on the head, you're looking at just shy of eight inches or almost dead on with 20 centimeters. And then the base is about the six inch mark or a little over 15 centimeters and then width wise pretty much the same as what we had seen with the mosasaurus skull a little over two and a half inches or a hair over six and a half centimeters for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus robert muldoon and the collect a human being here next to our deep time fossils majungasaurus skull replica and you can see it definitely has a very good very impressive size to it the skull is a bit larger than our mosasaurus skull was from deep time fossils but for another comparison there is a mattel velociraptor and dilophosaurus next to our majungasaurus to yet again show you that this does have quite the nice size to it as well as the safari ltdu tyrannus like diabloceratops and collect a deluxe dimetrodon a few random comparison pieces that i quite often use here for comparisons but for another comparison there is the Deep Time Fossils Mosasaurus and Majungasaurus skulls next to each other, giving you a very good idea not only of how they size up to each other, but just of how incredible they both look next to each other. When you talk about high quality fossil replicas, like, oh man, if Deep Time Fossils isn't in your list of the greatest fossil replica creators out there, then you clearly haven't experienced their work yet. 
Now one unfortunate downside to Majungasaurus is the fact that it is a beautiful dinosaur, but not that many companies have made models of it. So we don't have very many to kind of go by when it comes to comparisons here. We do have the Vitae version here, which uh, is honestly a really nice version of a Majungasaurus. I remember when I first saw that model, for some reason I was a little let down. And now looking back years later, like... I don't know what I was thinking. That is an absolutely awesome Majungasaurus model. But uh, you can see, again, comparison-wise, what it looks like next to this skull. They compare well, for sure, next to each other. We've also got a gorgeous version of the Majungasaurus from Safari LTD that we have here next to the skull replica from Deep Time Fossils. Again, these two also look great together, maybe even better than the Vitae version. And then even though it's not out of the packaging, we also have the Mattel version, which you can see again is a bit larger than the others, but also looks great next to the Deep Time Fossils skull replica. So this brand new Deep Time Fossils Majungasaurus skull replica is absolutely amazing and it is definitely my favorite Deep Time Fossils fossil replica so far. You know, that's hard to say because everything has been so impressive the entire time, but this is one of my favorite species of dinosaur and it's easily one of the most beautiful skull replicas I've ever seen. You know, I have a lot of skull replicas, not a massive, massive amount, but I have a good fair share and uh, very few can even come close to the quality of this. The overall fine detail has transferred so nicely from the original skull to this that it looks like it is like a legitimate real skull of a Majungasaurus. Obviously at a fraction of the size of the real skull, but it genuinely looks as realistic and lifelike as it could possibly get. It doesn't even necessarily, I mean, it has that fossilized look, but it almost looks like it could be a skull that I would just find walking through the woods, and then I'd be awfully suspicious as to why there is a Majungasaurus living near me, or a family of them. But the detailing and how crisp it actually looks and how vibrant it actually looks on this skull is seriously on another level. And then on top of that, of course, we've got really nice paintwork like we've had so far through all of the Deep Time Fossil replicas that I've seen. Again, they've done a good bit of variation of different tones of color, as well as washes to highlight each and every crack and crevice in the skull. And then on top of that, really nice elements of dry brushing to make all of the detail pop in the best way possible, as well as even, you know, slight variation of color to the teeth. I just love the fact that they've put so much into this to give you, again, one of the most high-quality skull replicas I've ever seen. And on top of that, we also have the base and, of course, the Majungasaurus nameplate, which gives it that overall very museum-like look, very high-quality look. So when it comes to fossil replicas, when it comes to skull replicas specifically, you really are not going to find anybody doing it better than you find from Deep Time Fossils. So make sure, if you are interested, that you check the links that I I will include in the description to head on over to Deep Time Fossils. Check them out on social media. Check out their website, of course. Search around their site. Find some awesome stuff to pick up and add to your collection. And if you do, I would love to hear about it in the comments section because I just haven't heard that many people talking about them quite yet, but I feel like they are about to explode. And I would love to hear what your thoughts are as well when you do acquire some of their stuff. And of course, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.